Hi, this is Nick Castle, the director of The Last Starfighter and also the character in the first Halloween called Michael Myers. That's me under the mask. You are going to be listening and watching Slasher Pepper. Have a good time. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper and welcome to another video. Today it's another interview, this time with Nick Castle, the original Michael Myers from 1978's Halloween. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Glad to have you on the show. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, and before we even start, I just wanted to give a big thank you to James Jude Courtney. Um, he gave me your contact info um, so that we could well, work he, out a date for the interview. He's the culprit. He's the culprit, huh? <laughs> he's the producer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Uh, so James, my James is a good guy and very oh, yeah. Yes. Super nice guy. Had a blast talking to him. I bet. Um, so my first question was, uh, what are you up to today? What are you, what keeps you busy? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I actually, uh, you know, continue to do, I, there's like three interviews, uh, this month, uh, all, uh, two of which are for Halloween, you know, that I'm doing, um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the other is a, a dedication to a, a good friend of mine who just passed away. Ron Cobb is a, a great designer, did designs for Alien and uh, the first John Carpenter movie, Dark Star. He did the ship for that, if anybody remembers that. Um, did Conan the Barbarian and it was a production designer for my movie, The Last Starfighter. So he just passed away and so we're doing a kind of a tribute uh, thing through the visual effects uh, society. Other than that, you know, I'm very interested in politics and I have been working with a group called Pathfinder, which has a great um, uh, collection of important, I think, uh, books on, on politics and history you Can find it at uh, online. Do a lot of work with them. So, you know, basically, other than that, I'm retired. I'm an old guy now, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of uh, uh, yeah, doing the day-to-day uh, -day combat, you know, during uh, while you're in the movie business. All right. But other than that, uh, the, what it keeps me happy is uh, is uh, you know the recognition of some of the fans, is, you know, especially for the work I direct and write. But also, you know, it's fun to the you know uh, rub elbows, which is all you can do nowadays, evidently, uh, with the fans from Halloween. All right. <laughs> So um, that brings me to my next question, actually. Um, do you prefer being in front or behind the camera? Oh, I hate being in front of the camera. <laughs> Thank God. The only time I ever was in front of the camera, really, uh, except for a few things when I was a little kid, uh, was Halloween. And they put a big mask on me. So that was okay. <laughs> no, you know, it's like uh, I'm so afraid of, of being in front of an audience when when you have to act and remember lines. It just seems like it's impossible, you know? So I, I really can't do it, but I really appreciate the people that can. Right, yeah. Oh, that, that's actually quite funny because you think <laughs> playing a serial killer, you should, you should be confident or something. And you're actually like yeah. a little camera shy. <laughs> oh, totally, totally afraid. Yeah, <laughs> just the scariest, not very scary kind of guy that's underneath the mask there. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, so a lot of people are, are, are like, um, like find it weird that Michael Myers could drive in the original. So oh, yeah. what's your theory on that? <laughs> they had driver's education, actually. In, <laughs> you know, I, I have no idea. He probably watched it on TV, for all I know. Um, uh, yeah, that's a question that's often asked, and it is one of those uh, um, inconsistencies, I think, <laughs> in the plots. I think you just go with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not only did he get it, but he was pretty good because I remember doing the scene. I actually was behind the wheel when they did the scene where uh, the girl yells, speed kills, you know, and I had to put on the brakes as if uh, uh, I had heard it. So, uh, yeah, he, he was he, he was pretty, pretty good. Maybe he could have been a race car driver in another life. All right. All right. Yeah. Would certainly uh, the police would certainly prefer that uh, lifestyle. <laughs> right, right. 
And um, so my YouTube channel is called Slasher Pepper, and I'm well known for Dr. Pepper being my favorite soda. Oh, so I kidding. had to ask you about the iconic, you know, Dr. Pepper photo that you also recreated. Yes, you know, I, as I as I recall, you know, um, Dr. Pepper, the, the product was given to the set as a uh, as just a uh, a freebie to do publicity with, you know, maybe to get a, uh, uh, you know, some free drinks for the, for the crew, etc. So uh, that was, I think, just totally spontaneous. Uh, I was just uh, fooling around with the camera person, uh, Kim Gottlieb, uh, and uh, those things have taken on a life of their own. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm actually not a big, I'm not a big, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Pepper drinker. I'm a big diet diet coke person so i'm waiting for the coca-cola company to send me <laughs> some free coke all right <laughs> who knows maybe one day <laughs> right exactly um and a lot of people tend to hate the third halloween because michael myers isn't in it um what are your thoughts on that film well i think it's a very good film you know i think uh, the reason it was hated um uh, was that people going into the movie thing and kept waiting for Michael to show up. So uh, unfortunately, so the publicity for it, I probably helped sync that movie, but um, well-directed, well-written, some good actors, still some good friends of mine. The director, of course, is a close friend of mine, uh, Tommy Lee Wallace, who was uh, also the production designer on the original Halloween and a good friend of John's, uh, you know, from high school. So, um, I, you know, I think it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's well made and well worth. If you haven't seen it, folks out there, yeah, take a look. Yeah, people should be more open minded because I really love the film as well. It has some great effects and just yeah. the overall, um, you know, atmosphere going on. It's really great. Yeah. Um, and which John Carpenter movie is your favorite and why? Oh, I would have to say Dark Star, <laughs> the very first one he did. We, he started that in film school. Uh, I was with him at the time, and him and Dan O'Bannon were uh, starting it as a short, you know, 45 minutes short. Uh, I helped work on it, uh, you know, as a as a fellow classmate, and did this and that. Uh, eventually, they found uh, an investor that wanted to uh, make it longer and make it a feature film. Everything about that is so much fun for me. It's, it's a personal reason, you know. It's maybe right. not the the most obvious uh in terms of the craft of the movie but uh i just love it and of course uh, i love it another reason i love it is that i was close friends with dan o'bannon and uh he was uh, one of the stars of it and it's always go go good now that he's passed away go back and take a look and see my old buddy so from a lot of personal reasons i i find that to be my favorite uh, that's cool too here that you actually uh you know kind of helped him with that film yeah yeah in the background, you know, yeah. <laughs> not a lot of creative uh, input, but, uh, but, you know, that was something we all did with each other back then, you know, you know, ju jump on board, make sure that, you know, you had enough hands. Uh, right. John and I, you know, worked for a couple of years before that, we're doing student films, just uh, doing the music for student films, all kinds of stuff. So it was fun. So you're not credited on uh, Dark Star, I assume. I don't think so. Although, you know, I'm, I know people, you know, who really get into the trivia of that stuff know that I am the, uh, the beach ball alien. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, that thing they, they painted to look like a giant tomato. So uh, I'm actually literally back in behind it, going like this, pretending like it's breathing. So it's in a sense, <laughs> my first time behind rubber. <laughs> you know, it, was, it was my uh it was my introduction to uh, the the john carpenter world of uh of masks right so, uh, that was <laughs> yeah later you would be uh a much more iconic uh guy That's behind right. robber <laughs> right and uh what was the scariest movie you've ever seen as a kid oh i, I it the scariest movie, well, I had to, the first movies, uh, feature films I ever watched that were horror films, uh, I went to the theater. So that was scary because I didn't know what I was going to, I was getting into. And I hate the idea of getting scared, by the way. I don't like <laughs> scary movies in that sense. And it was The Beast with Five Fingers, 
with Peter Lorre, both like 50s movies, and then The Cyclops, uh, I think. And, and so I, I just would spend half the time in, in the foyer, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hoping my, my friends I was with didn't notice that I was gone. Right. <laughs> that was scary. But as an, you know, as a young, uh, uh, an older adult, I really found uh, The Exorcist to be the scariest movie. You know, I don't know if it had to be with because of my Catholic background or whatever, but uh, just just drove me crazy. Oh yeah, that that movie has been mentioned like most in uh, when yeah. I ask this sort of question or like favorite horror movies. Right. Um, and uh, what are some of your favorite musicians? Oh boy, musicians. Um, well. Uh, you know, there's so many, you know. Oh, yeah. And I grew up in an era where all, you know, kind of uh, rock and roll was being born. So, you know, I think back on Little Richard and Elvis. I mean, I read, you know, it's fun. It, it was fun to go through that whole period, you know, discovering the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. And, uh, um, I, you know, as far as uh, contemp more contemporary, I really always liked Bruce Springsteen. There was a whole period there that I wanted to be in rock and roll. So I tried to, try to, uh, I, you know, I created my own music. And, and matter of fact, Tommy Wallace, the guy that we were just talking about on Halloween three was in that band with me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, but uh, that didn't come to, to pass. And I just <laughs> concentrated more on, on filmmaking. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I just kind of like dropped my interest in rock and roll after a while. It's amazing how little I know about, about anything after 75 or something, you know? I did get, there was a period where I really liked the new wave, Elvis Costello uh, and uh, people of that, uh, you know, The Clash. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, that is great. Great, great uh, yeah, and then of course for, for people your age, these are, these are like me talking about uh, I don't know, Frank Sinatra or something. You know, <laughs> you know, it was a different era, but you still love it, you know? Yeah, I, I love The Clash. You yeah. know, honestly, I, I don't even like music from nowadays. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite singers of all time continues to be Ray Charles, though, the, the blues singer. Uh, blues. He's, uh, if you don't know Ray, you got to go listen to Ray. I'll give him a listen. That way. Okay. I'll give him a listen for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you could get rid of one thing in this world, what would it be? Oh, one thing in this world? Yeah. It would be capitalism. <laughs> I think we'd do much better without the conflict that that engenders. Yeah. Um, and what's some advice you would like to give to young and upcoming filmmakers? Oh, well, you know, I can only say what uh, some of the good things that happened to me that were fortunate came from things like this. Uh, going to film school, I thought was very important, not just because you got to make movies, which was uh, great and, and almost impossible to do without a film school then. Now it's not as difficult. You have your phone and you can make a movie, you know, uh, which is very different than when I was growing up. But, uh, but more importantly, I think going to film school is that you got to, you know, meet and collaborate with other other filmmakers, aspiring filmmakers. You meet them, you become friends, and then someday some guy puts a mask on you that you used to go to film school and you're suddenly <laughs> an icon. Also, John was just in that in this respect, and I'm not kidding, the 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 idea of having a friend who was uh, you know by talent and luck and stuff like that broke through first. They kind of remember their old buddies and sometimes bring you along and it's a great way to you know, a start a career. Because that's always the trick, isn't it? You know, you have all the uh, talent in the world and you have a, uh, ideas that you want to do, but now what? You know, how do you get to the money? So uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a very, uh, this may be a peculiar situation that is more difficult in the United States. Uh, I'm sure there may be, uh, I don't know what the, uh, the film community is like in Europe, for instance, if there's stepping stones uh, to help you, you know, uh, from, 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 you know, a, a young filmmaker, or aspiring filmmaker to the, to that world, but it's very difficult and kind of a mystery in the United States, I know. So that, that's important. And then, you know, the history of 
of movies is so much available to you now. You know, you know, take take the time. Don't think, you know, just don't like people think that Steven Spielberg is is the beginning and end beginning of the filmmaking. <laughs> no, it goes back. You know, and even the silent films have a lot to be able to 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 uh, uh, to uh, teach you. But uh, of course, there's just a tremendous a lot. You know, you can't get through them all. So you. Oh, so, no. Yeah, the idea is to uh, you know concentrate on what you like and look into that genre and really understand it and know what you're what what came before you so that you can add to it, not just copy it or whatever, but add to it, enjoy it. And uh, and be and be part of the community of that that the, that genre, um, uh, it, you know, it has like like what you're doing. You know, uh, you obviously en enjoy this kind of uh, this this uh, this genre. And but to go back into you know uh, where it, where it originated, what what makes a a, a scare a scare? You know, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. It's um. You know, you have a lot of opportunities now. I think to uh, um, with uh, with uh, with all the cable channels and the ability to stream anything you want, as long as you you have a few bucks. You know, uh, that's that's really important. Awesome, that's a great yeah. answer. Yeah. Um, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? No, I'm just uh, happy to meet someone out there like yourself. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I'll get out there someday. I'll look you up and you can... Uh, where, where, what city are you in? Uh, the H um, slash Delft. I'm kind of in between those two. Oh, okay, cool. Do cool. you know those? No, I don't, but I'm going to look it up now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Delft is, is, is where I hang out most, and that's just a beautiful city. Yeah. How about you? Are you a, a, someone that's going to be behind the mic here all, all the time or you have other aspirations? No, this is, um, this is just a timely thing, you know, to kind of, um, you know, entertain people with these interviews and also right. to learn a little more about filmmaking and right. how other people got there, you know, because, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope to make films myself someday. Well, excellent. Excellent. Well, you, you got to keep me posted on all that. I want to be, you know, I want to see your movie when you do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> All right. I'll invite you to the premiere. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye-bye. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's